their ears will grow dull of hearing. And one of the things that Satan has robbed of this degeneration and dispensation is attention. Many people, many of us cannot attend to a thing, especially deliberately and, 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 and consistently when it touches something that applies ourselves to, 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 to reading, you know, to taking time to, to because there are a lot of distractions in the spirit realm. One of the biggest distractions of the spirit realm is social media. This is eternal life! That you might know the one true God and his only son, Jesus. When you go through a situation, open your Bible. When your husband chucks you, Musomere Nyiriri. Get into your car business and close the door. And tell it now we need to talk. Do you know that for this reason we speak a lot of scriptures? Because we've warred with them. When we were hungry, we warred with these things. We never had cars, but we had the word. We never had houses, but we had the word. We never had connections. But thanks be to God, who always causes us to triumph. And maketh manifest the server of his epignosis. Gnosko by us. In every place. Faith is specific. Faith has purpose to it, first of all. And then, secondly, it is specific. If I am bold about something, if I'm certain about something, I can be specific about it. I can be particular about it. But many people are general. Uh, God will do for me a miracle today. Uh, God will work for me. How will he work? Be specific. Be specific. If you're certain he's going to work. Nine. The Bible says, 139. He says, Let's begin from verse 14. 139, verse 14. He says, I will praise thee. Now, listen. For I am, you know that, fearfully and wonderfully made. But many people ignore the next line. The next line says, marvelous are thy works. Now, you are a work of God. Right? You are a work of God. And it says, marvelous are his works. That means you are a marvel. That means when people look at you, they're like, say I'm a marvel. Listen, I'm a marvel. Genesis 1. Genesis 1 is not the beginning of the world. The first book that accounts the beginning of the world is John chapter 1. In the beginning was the word. And the word was with God. And the word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. And all things were made by him. And without him, nothing was made. And the Bible says, and in him was life. And the life was the light. And that light, it shines. He tells you, exercise yourself to godliness. What is he trying to tell you? Live where God is. To think where God thinks from. To relate where God relates from. When that pain comes, what does the word of God say? None in Zion shall say, I am sick. So, you start exercising yourself to refuse to say. To refuse to say that you are what? That's a man exercising. <laughs> Praise God. In the spirit realm, do you know what you're doing? Some of us, when we start praying, when we start praying, oh my goodness, we are like in a gym. Father, I thank you because I'm fearfully and wonderfully made. I thank you because everything is working for my good. I cannot fail. I know who I am. I know what is in me. My body is the embodiment of the Holy Spirit. And all things are of God. My heart is of God. My kidneys are of God. My liver is of God. How can it be sick? Oh, tell your neighbor. He says, it shall not depart from your mouth. Meditate. That thou may so start to do. That is why the secondary definition of meditation also borrows the word to matter. Out of the abundance. How robusta. So that's why the Bible says, for out of the abundance of the heart, so the mouth speaketh. When the word of God fills your spirit, what do you find yourself doing? You find yourself spitting and speaking it. You're the total sum of what you fill yourself with. Because there's these words are life to them that find them and medicine to their bones.
You can't fall sick when you're reading the Bible a certain way. If you read the word of God, it will make you what it says. It shall prosper in you. I don't take time to worry about anything that is not working. Because I've set my life on the faith. You just need to read the Bible and know who he is. He's the Alpha and the Omega. Imagine it. He's the author and the finisher of your faith. Imagine it. Do you understand? He's the beginning and the end. He's Rafa, Roh, he's Sidukenu. Your righteousness, Nisi Obana. The moment you read it and put it in it, that you've seen him. You're going to be reading the Bible. And the light will go on. And you're like, oh my goodness, that's it. At that particular point, seize the moment and start speaking in tongues. Edify yourself, build yourself up in your most holy faith and say, Makaraba Koteleaba. This sermon is now available. Some of you, there are people who have held you in your past. Eh? They're like a bug. You remember in 2002 when you killed the cow? You, you, you know, I remember you killed the cow. If you made a loss, dust it off. Don't even cry over it. Just and start again. Hallelujah. If the relationship failed, they bury the story. Get a rub and rub it. Begin a new page or buy a new exercise book. And write another story. God? Are you so dipped in God that if a man should seek you, he has to go in God first to find you? Or are you so open and available? Even to the world. You see? Even as believers, besides marriage, when men seek us, where do they find us? So the Bible says, Paul says, that I may actually be found and known as in him. That if people should seek me. But I want to tell you, God understands. And he knows your heart. And he will cleanse you through his word and get you out don't be a victim of the effects of your sin receive forgiveness of sin and healing for your body and deliverance for your soul and breakthrough for your life for all have sinned and come short of the glory of god you can never dream is inside you everything that you can never desire is inside you everything that you can never hope for is inside you everything that you can never pray for is inside you everything that you can never seek is inside you and so when i'm praying i'm saying god that which i cannot dream about but is inside me come out and how do i do that the utterances of the holy ghost Everything you can never dream is inside you. Everything that you can never desire is inside you. Everything that you can never hope for is inside you. Everything that you can never pray for is inside you. Everything that you can never seek is inside you. And so when I'm praying, I'm saying, God, that which I cannot dream about but is inside me, come out. And how do I do that? The utterances of the Holy Ghost. you where you were in the very place you were disappointed he will not look for another one no that very place you were disappointed is about to call you back and honor you the bible says he will he will in the very way in the very temptation make a way he is not going to no he's going to use the very person who spoke evil about you to introduce you and announce you have seen websites that have fought us now announcing us Hello, glory to God. I've seen pay Facebook pages that used to oppose us now announcing us. God can use the very mouth that fought you to fight for you in Jesus' mighty name. I want to raise your voice and thank God for tonight's word. I want you to speak in tongues and celebrate God for what he's doing in this hour. Jesus says, Yeah, complete in him, which is the head of 
all principality and power. That means that even before you enter marriage, you enter a complete woman. There are places skin color can't take you. There are places education status can't take you. There are places connections and networks can't take you. Not by power, not by might, but by my spirit. This sermon is now available on DVD and CD at Fenero Sales Table and Andrew Womack Bookshop. Any service that you have in God, do it so good. If you're saying, I'm going to do business, eh? enter your shop and put everything right. Make sure the line is your display. When you're arranging chairs, make sure the line is straight. Not because you just want to make the line straight, but because in you there is something that tells you I'm not wasting time. When you go to class, study hard, excel. When you're preaching, don't just preach. Preach so deep. When you're praying, pray excellently. When you're believing, believe excellently. When you're working at your workplace, work hard, excellently. You don't just go upward and upward only. You start to do guys who are up what they do. Are you hearing me? If you know that you're a prayer warrior, pray like you know how to pray. If you know that you're the greatest worshiper, get that microphone like nobody can take it out of your hand. That is an excellent spirit.